For this problem, we have a steel cylinder that contains 150 moles of argon gas at 25 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 8.93 megapascals. After some of the argon has been used, the pressure drops to 2 megapascals and the temperature becomes 19 degrees Celsius. We're trying to figure out what mass of argon remains in the cylinder, but we don't know how many moles were removed. Um, first thing right off the bat, we want to go ahead and just convert our temperatures into Kelvin. So 25 plus 273 gives us a temperature of 298, oops, 298 Kelvin. And then 19 plus 273 gives us a temperature of 292 Kelvin. Um, we're going to leave our pressure just in megapascals because as you see, it's not going to be um, as important to switch that into ATM. So we're going to be using the equation PV equals nRT, but we have two different scenarios. Now in that scenario, the volume of the container remains the same and our gas constant remains the same. So what we can actually do is have P1 divided by N1 T1 equals P2 divided by N2 T2. Um, since we have our pressure or our volume and gas constant remaining equal. So when we plug in our values here, we can have our initial pressure is 8.93 megapascals. We have 150 moles, and we have a temperature of 298. And that is going to equal our ending pressure of 2 megapascals times moles, or sorry, divided by the number of moles times our new temperature of 292 Kelvin. And solving for N, we get that N equals 34.28 moles of argon remaining in the container. So to figure out the mass we have remaining, we're going to take our moles, which is our 34.28 moles of argon, and using a periodic table, we can multiply that by the molar mass. So one mole of argon equals 39.948 grams. So we have, so we have 1,369.4 grams or 1.37 kilograms. So that is the mass remaining in the cylinder.